Hello Capricorns, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel, Silavi Tarot. I hope you are doing marvelous. I hope everything is going phenomenal for you at this time. All right, so let's see what's going on with you presently here. Okay, so moving forward, if you are new here, welcome. If you are uh, returning, I love you. All right, so let's see what's going on with my my subscribers at this time. What's going on with my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus signs? What's the vibe like? What's the vibe, right? Because vibes don't lie. Energy doesn't lie, right? If Also, if you're interested in a personal reading, all of my information is below. Let's see what's taking place with you at this time, all right? Good. I'll fly out. I love you. I still love you right mm. it's interesting because i love you but i'm not telling you i love you i love you but i'm not saying i love you i love you i really love you here someone's wanting to say i love you to someone someone's wondering if it's the right time to say i love you to someone here it's a very strong connection it's a beautiful connection actually i haven't seen this card in a long time Actually, it's I love you popping up. So Capricorn, congratulations. All right. For those that is uh, that it's resonating for. All right. So we have someone here thinking about saying I love you, thinking about um, what it would be like to be in love with you. Right. What would it be like for us to connect again? What would it be like for us to actually take that step into that energy of love here? Bottom of the deck, we have obsession. All right. So someone here could be obsessed with the idea of being single is what I'm getting, right? I'm afraid of expressing myself at this time. I'm afraid of telling you how I truly feel. I'm afraid of expressing my true desires to you. I'm afraid of telling you what my fears are, okay? Because there is some uh, very, very deep fears in this energy at this time that I'm getting, all right? I do see someone here thinking about the love that we can um, uh, you know, investigate. Now, for a lot of you, I will say this is a connection where, and those that resonate, you understand what I'm saying. This person is um, unable to disconnect from this energy, all right? Earth sign, water sign, air sign. I feel like this is somebody here that is definitely thinking about this connection, whether they want to say it or not. I feel it. Cancer moon energy. So I feel it could be also a cancer that you may be connecting with, but I do see someone here feeling this energy very strongly. They may not be saying anything about it they may not be ready for it but they're uh analyzing it to some extent okay there is that energy i also see you also analyzing the definition of love at this time it's like you know do i truly love this person right although we have a soul connection is this truly a love here because for some of you, it's like I'm connecting with someone that I do love, but there's this energy of this person not reciprocating, okay? Another thing that I feel like is going on very strongly here is you're connecting with someone here that feels a strong connection with you, but I do see them, you know, still trying to sign some divorce papers. They're still trying to disconnect from another connection. They're still trying to move away from another connection that didn't work out for them here, okay? So I do see someone here looking at the past and wondering, hey, look, I invested a lot in this past energy and I would love to move forward with you but I'm a bit skeptical about the energy of love so you know you could be dealing with someone that uh is in this energy of overthinking overthinking uh, you know is this the right thing for me to do okay and for a lot of you there's a strong distance here all right could be spiritual distance or it could be a physical distance for a lot of you okay but i do see someone here thinking a lot about their past virgo energy thinking hermit energy i'm thinking i'm wondering i'm going back and forth in my mind but i still love you though i do get this energy also of someone here debating if they should go back to this connection Okay, should I go back to this? Should I reconnect with this? But again, vibes don't lie, right? I love you and that's that, you know? And within within this energy of loving you, I'm actually finding myself, right? I'm actually finding the energy of love, right? Love is not a possession, it's just an energy. We grow within the energy of love, right? We start to self-love, we start to love the divine, right? That's the point, okay? All right, so show me more, please. Show me more about this beautiful energy. Hmm? Twin flame. A lot of you guys could be connecting with a twin flame. We have new beginning at the bottom of the deck here. Someone here is trying to d disconnect from a karmic partner. We have true love. 
wanting to come out. We have phone call and we have past life. A lot of past life energy here. You could be connecting with someone here that wants to reach out to you. You know, I know that I've possibly treated you badly in the past. And I'm wondering if that's something that may come up again. Or I'm wondering if this is something um, that is worth my time. Some of you are asking yourself, you know, I feel this connection. This is a past life connection for a lot of you. But I'm wondering if this is something that I should invest in. Is this something that I should, you know, think about all, all the time? right? Because I do see someone here constantly thinking about you. Twin flame energy for those that um, may move in that twin flame uh, movement, right? But it's just a connection. It's a connection. Call it whatever you want to call it. It's a connection. And I feel like someone here wants to communicate. They want to say something, but they're holding themselves back, okay? They're focused on the past, okay? Now, for a lot of you, you know, one of the main things that's happening here is growth. Your person's going through a lot of growth. They may be focused on materialistic things, focused on money, focused on someone else, or focused on uh, what they think is right. But again, this is a past life connection, which means that you are on this person's mind. So for those of you that may be saying to yourself, am I going crazy? Am I the only person feeling this? I feel like for a lot of you, no, no, it's not. All right. Because I do see someone here in this energy of wondering if I disconnect from this person and what's going to happen. Okay, this could be something, whether pertaining some sort of divorce, that's what I'm getting, or pertaining some sort of relationship. If I disconnect from this and go after love, what happens? All right, so I do see someone here just, you know, possibly um, weighing out their options here. Okay, for a lot of you, this is someone you grew up with, someone you've known for a very long time. But again, I do see a very strong connection here. We also have true love. There's just a lot of love in this reading. We do have a new beginning. So I do see someone here wanting to reach out, wanting to uh, reconnect to some extent. Okay. All right. But there is some sort of karmic energy that's happening here. Okay. Karmic past life energy to some extent. All right. But I do see someone here wanting to communicate with you. Okay, wanting to reach out. Now, I will say for a lot of my Capricorns, there is someone new coming into your energy. So please be open to that. All right, be open to, um, you know, connecting to new energies, right? It's not, it's not like, it's not like I'm, I'm completely closing out to someone else or I'm closing out to this person in my past, but I'm just open to new things. I'm open to new messengers. Remember, everybody that we meet is a new messenger, so everybody is bringing in some sort of growth, some sort of truth to my life, whether it's bad, positive, good, whatever it is, right? I'm going to get pull out all the wisdom of these connections and grow and evolve in love, in true love here, okay? But I do see someone here that you may be connecting, hiding in the cut here, uh, not really wanting to accept this in the past here. Um, and it looks like they had some other stuff going on, family situations, work situ uh, situations happening. And whatever that is, let that be, right? Children or maybe an ex or a child's mother. But in, in the midst of them doing that, they're not expressing their emotions. And I feel like that's where the dilemma comes in, where it's like, you know, I want you to express to me how you feel. So I'm not feeling like I'm going crazy because I do love you. Right. But, you know, I feel like this person possibly is holding back in terms of their emotions. Um, I do get an energy of um, someone feeling regretful for shutting you out, um, feeling bad about the way they treated you, feeling bad about the way that they uh, dismissed your energy at some point. All right. Shut the door in your face or possibly just um, sent you a message that just wasn't loving or didn't have the energy of love in it to some extent uh, where they were possibly blaming or attacking. Okay, that's for some of you. I do get somebody, you know, sitting in that energy of reflecting. Okay, but take that how that resonates for a lot of you. Let's get another vibe here. All right, let me just check here. What is the overall vibe for this beautiful connection? What is the overall vibe? All right, consequences. Yeah, so someone here is... Uh, looking back at their actions and understanding like, hey, look, you know, I, I understand why this person walked out of my life, right? I didn't treat them the best. I wasn't open to them. I lied to them to some extent. Okay. So I do feel like this person is going to uh, understand like, hey, look, I did sabotage this connection. I did. I sabotaged this connection to some extent. Okay. I wasn't honest with you. 
I wasn't truthful with you and we have better off here. So I do see so, some of you, you are taking a break from this person. There may be a lack of communication or um, some sort of, you know, disconnect at this time and that's okay because it brings in that clear headspace that you truly need i feel like there's going to be growth in this energy of separation that's happening here yeah we have peace and balance for a lot of you so if you're not communicating with this person it brings you closer to yourself it brings you closer to love it brings you closer to true love and a new beginning in love it doesn't have to be a new person but it may be a new beginning in understanding and, and viewing love at a different perspective but, you know, there is somebody new coming in for a lot of you guys. So I will say, you know, look out for that. Okay. So let's see what we could get with the tarot energy. Tarot. Let's see what we have here, guys. Beautiful, beautiful Capricorns. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, sign. Let's see what's going on. I'm sending you guys love and balance and peace. All right, what do we have for this energy of I love you? I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Yeah, someone here is reflecting. Damn. This person's reflecting, and it's interesting because I, I see both of you reflecting, really. Right? I'm trying to um, look back at the situation here, and I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong, where I went right, where I went wrong. Did I, did I do the right thing in terms of walking away? Did I do the right thing in terms of not expressing myself and not opening up to this person here? Okay, so there's someone here that is moving into this energy of solitude. I need to be by myself here in order to understand why this is not moving forward. Why this person here neglected me or turned their back on me or not really opening up to me. Whatever the case is here, I'm reflecting. And in this energy of hermit, what happens here for a lot of you is that I draw out all the wisdom that I need out of this connection and I and I start to understand certain things about this person and I start to understand certain things about myself here, okay? Again, there is this energy of someone just wanting to be left alone, okay? For some of you, uh, this person feels as if it's the best to just block you out, not communicate, uh, not say anything at this time. Or this could be you as well, okay? Let's see what we have for this phone call to inflame energy, huh? Pisces energy popping in. Sagittarius energy. Okay, let's see what is flying out and forcing me to uh, bend down. All right, so we have Pisces energy and the Knight of Swords. Regrets here. Wow. So a lot of you may be feeling this person's energy. It's like I'm picking up on this person's energy. I'm picking up on what this person may be going through here i'm silent about it a lot of you are very intuitive i'm extremely intuitive maybe i know it maybe i don't right some of you may understand your gift and some of you may not but there is this energy of i i think about this person i feel that this person's becoming more balanced here there's something that's happening with your person and it's bringing in this energy of balance i mean every uh energy of change is difficult at first but it brings in this energy of strength at some point. But I do see someone here thinking a lot, right? Um, going through some sort of ending here, closing out some sort of chapter here. And I feel like this chapter, if you're connecting with someone here that may have left you for a job or left you for another connection, I do see this person here uh, balancing out their energy, getting some sort of clarity in terms of something they said or something that they did. Because I feel like this energy of love that came in was very, very powerful. And this is someone here that wants to come in and communicate with you again with the call here. At first they said, hey, look, it's better off. Or maybe they didn't say, but they were coming off as if, oh, it's okay. I don't mind losing you. But I see this person constantly thinking about you. This person could have heavy Sagittarius energy in their chart. Aquarius energy, Libra, Gemini. Pisces cancer all right but I do see someone here thinking about you a lot thinking about um you know how they treated you wow wanting to move into the wheel of fortune it's this is a huge turning point I will tell you Capricorn a huge turning point not only for you but for this person all right what do we have for this new beginning what do we have for this new beginning energy here 
this person had to go through a lot of healing all right whoever you're dealing with this is someone here you know be very patient with this person's energy and and don't forget about love because love is patient right love is patient love is understanding this person is going through some sort of transition whether this is you going through this transition all right the spiritual growth or this is you or the other person all right take that how that resonates what do we have for this new beginning energy walking away from things that don't serve me setting myself free Ooh. yeah Someone here is possibly in this energy of starting something new, starting a new family, starting a new approach. Someone here is going to approach you very differently, Capricorn. And I feel like the minute that you got on that plane, the minute you got on that bus, the minute that you stepped away from this person's energy, the minute that you changed your number, blocked them, whatever it is that you did to step away from this person's energy, it really set you free and it really put you into this new beginning, right? I wanted to come out in reverse here, but I feel like at some point you guys noticed like, okay, this is what I need to do. I need to start understanding that I'm powerful. I'm love. I have this whole world to live this world life is amazing life is amazing and my journey here is moving towards love here and i feel like this brings in this energy of new love for you yeah it could be your person also walking away from some sort of beliefs maybe they believed in money they believed in you know the materialistic aspects of life and they're walking away from that and they're wanting to love themselves, hence able to now grow with you in love here. This was someone that was possibly trapped for a very long time in their mind in a situation. Respect the laws of spirituality, basically. Okay, but I do see someone here starting something new. All right, this could be you, Capricorn, starting something new, starting some sort of new love energy. I do see some sort of communication coming in as well. All right. And it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles and we have the lovers, right? Strong energy. I'm very serious about this. This is someone here that's serious. Gemini energy it could be another Capricorn you're connecting with. Someone here wants to be very serious about love now. And this could be you. I feel like it's you, Capricorn. All right. I'm very serious about love now. I understand the energy of love. I understand what I want. All right, so let's get some messages, actually, for you happies. What the messages are Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus signs. What are the messages? Ooh, Capricorn is starting something new. I just heard, yeah, I'm, I understand that you weren't ready, and I'm starting something new. Psh, c'est la vie. I just heard somebody say I'm starting something new. For some of you, there's someone new that's coming into your energy. After you decided to walk away from something. Or this could be your person walking away from something that they thought was love. They were connecting with maybe a Scorpio or a Pisces or a Sagittarius or a Gemini they were connecting with. All right. Unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. Okay. So this is you possibly stating to this person like I wasn't happy. Dishonesty. By lying, I ripped us apart. All right. So someone here is starting to realize uh, the things that they were uh, hiding. I do feel like there is an energy of someone not being honest about their emotions, though. I'm not being honest about the way I feel. What else do we have? Broken. I feel shattered about this whole situation. OK, I feel bad about the way that I treated you. I feel bad that I had you um, do something that you didn't want to do it's for some of you. And I feel bad about lying about you or lying to you. Thank you. And neglected. I failed to give you what you need. Yeah. OK, so I will talk to you soon, Capricorns. I love you guys. Of course, like, share and subscribe if this resonates. OK, contact me if you're interested in a personal reading and have a marvelous month. OK, thank you.